Hello, welcome, welcome to, to the graduated, graduated voice updates. updates. Be ready for the real tea. Details to tell. Well, after the Azimio leader, Ray Lodinga, together with the committee, made some changes in regard to the party, whereby we had the likes of Jalango being kicked out of this particular coalition, them going ahead and responding to it all. Something that we looked about, you are now having different changes, whereby it seems like a win for the new uh, leadership positions that were given to those left. Uh, some changes were made, whereby Simbarati has been the talk of the day, yesterday night and today and as we dive into that i really appreciate it if you like the video you can share us out there tell someone about this channel also talk to us in the comment section tell me what is it take in regard to the new changes now we are having the kisi governor also remember to subscribe yeah as we dive into it well the kisi governor simbarati has been named the new deputy chairperson of the orange democratic movement that is ODM National Executive Committee. This was, uh, this announcement was made yesterday on Friday, whereby the party also made other changes in terms of leadership. And according to the notice that was released, we are having Simba Arati, who will be replacing the former Kisi Oman representative Janet Ongera. And the current Busia woman representative, Catherine Omanyo, has replaced her predecessor, Florence Motua, as the new deputy secretary general for the committee. We are also having the likes of the subordinate uh, member of parliament, Caleb Amisi, who has taken over from the former Kwali woman rep representative, Zlaha Hassan, as the new deputy organizing secretary. Well, as in name and mention the rest of the changes i hope you can like the video and also shares out there the deputy national treasurer position is now under the quality woman representative known as Fotuma masito who takes over from the former treasurer olga karani the migori senator eddie okech is now the new secretary for humanitarian and disaster management affairs after taking over from activist bob njagi and the new next secretary for security is the kakamega woman rep lc mohanda who replaced the justice Kazito. I don't know what is your take in regard to these particular changes. Do you feel they are effective? We expect more huh, from them. Or what is your take on that? We've had different people reacting to these, like Jack Zolo here states, it is a fierce battle for the Kisi vote. UDA is slowly making progress. Next on its cards should be a plan to repackage Matiani, host him for tea, invite him to a few public events, give him a position to keep him busy, prepare a network to support his candidature for Nyamira governor under UDA in 2027, Keep your powerful enemies close. The man might be subdued, but he could cause problems for you, dear. The ballot is a shock candidate for Azimio presidency. Well, there you have it. Remember if it's happening and all about it. And if I know all about it, I will tell you all about it. So you can like the video, share, share us out there, and subscribe for more.